the feelings and the emotions that it has given me in the last few minutes are the reason I ride dirt bikes. Oh yes! Holy shizballs, dudes! This bike, it, like that, oh my gosh, I cannot tell you guys. I am so freaking happy right now. I, like, you talk about just gelling with a bike. I'm not sure I've ever felt more confident on a bike in such a short amount of time. All right, guys, you are seeing the first, uh, I would say 15 minutes. I might've been riding the bike for 15 minutes. The 2020 Yamaha YZ 250FX. Let me just tell you, Yamaha was not messing around with this sucker. They know what they are doing with a bike. Holy Jezebel. Oh, and this KYB fork on the front of this sucker. You know how people were saying, oh, you gotta let the thing break in for 10 hours. That's a bunch of freaking poppycock. This fork and this bike is freaking lights out right now. Holy crap. Like seriously. I am loving this. Second gear is a little low for me. It's kind of like a XCW on KTM. It's a little low. The good news is though, I'm in third right now. This fork. Oh yes! Holy crap! I love it. This fork and shock combination are just freaking dissecting the trail, eating it up. Got lots of rocks. On the binders. <laughs> that slick. Hello, bud. Look at this. Jesus gives me. Oh, I did not swear. I said, geez, this gives me. This gives me a lot of confidence, guys. And like I said, I don't even have a half hour on it yet. And I'm sick. I rode yesterday. I rode the Beta after I got it back. Oh my gosh. This bike is just launching off stuff. Holy crap, it's fun. Like, there's just something about some bikes that just give me confidence right out of the get-go. And this one is one of those. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this bike. Hey, I just want to say thank you to my Facebook group. They're the ones who voted for this. Because I had this bike up against 450s. I had it up against Honda 250RX, 450RX, KTM 350. And goodness gracious, if I hadn't have, if you guys hadn't have asked for this, I was going to do the Honda. But I am so glad. This is the bike we ended 
up with. And yes, this will be a sweepstakes bike later this year. I haven't fully decided when I'll give it away. If it'll be early in the year or late. It's as much fun as I'm having on it right now. I'm sitting there thinking, hang on to it. Oh, yes! Holy shizballs, dudes! I want to tell you guys something. On this 250, this 2020 250FX, YZ 250FX, the feelings and the emotions that it has given me in the last few minutes are the reason I ride dirt bikes. There is something about what this is doing to me right now, my whole body, my mind, my senses, every bit of me right now is alive and on fire. It is ethereal. It is in a way sacred to me. And what Yamaha has done with this bike, this motor, the suspension, it all plays into it. It's funny because, so I've got map one, it's up here on my, right by my left hand. I've got map one to like the hot map. It's like MX power feeling or something. Okay, and so then I put map two, using the power tuner app, I put map two down to like mild power, mellow power, something like that. And it is insanely different how different the bike, the motor reacts. Okay, so that's cool, but you'd expect that. I mean, that's working as advertised. What I can't for the life of me figure out is why, why does it affect the rear shot? So seriously, let me put it to words. When you're on the mild crap power map, the rear shock just feels dead. The way that the motor is reacting and giving power to the rear wheel is affecting the shock. It's unbelievable. Like, it feels dead and it feels like sluggish. The rear freaking shock, dude. Then, I turn it back to the power map, MX power map, and suddenly, the rear end, I'm jumping through things, like launching, like just off that right there. I'm sure you couldn't see it, because there's only so much you can see through the point of view camera. But this bike, like that. Oh my gosh, I cannot tell you guys. I am so freaking happy right now. Because that beta, I came in hoping, you know, with high hopes on the beta, in a stock setup, and man, it was just underwhelming. Everyone's making all these excuses. Too much oil in the forks, too little oil in the forks. They gotta break in. All this BS, dude. This bike is brand freaking new. It's got KYB forks on the front and it is freaking special. It's awesome. This is a bike that is going to be really hard for me to get rid of. I don't want to say too much because I'm literally, I don't even have 
I probably got 30 minutes on it now. So I don't want to say too much or make too many judgment calls, but goodness gracious. I, like, you talk about just gelling with a bike and having it be I'm not sure, I'm not sure I've ever felt more confident on a bike in such a short amount of time. Like that right there. You guys probably couldn't see it, but there was a bunch of really hard square edges and just like weird choppy rocks. And the bike just literally floats through it. Like to the point that I can hardly even feel it. And right here, oh my goodness, popping through sagebrush, bouncing off roots, rocks. up into third. There's enough power on this motor. There's so much torque on this 250 motor. Okay, I'm gonna grab second now. Too slow. Stand back up. again. There's a problem with my boot and the kickstand spring. Gosh, my boot gets caught. Maybe not all boots would do it. I might need to get a different kickstand for this bike. Or wear different boots. Because it catches in there. But this motor, see that, it just launches off little things. You give it just the slightest blip of the throttle, and the front end feels light, and the bike just kind of rockets through things. Like seriously, I think we're in third. Feels like I got a loose wire somewhere on my helmet. I gotta check it. 